Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I've got the cheapest Traxxas Slash project out with me. Now, if you watched the most recent upgrade video with this machine, we upgraded the power system. So I've been having issues with the VXL3 SESC and the 3500 KV Valenian motor. So I ended up swapping in the motor and ESC out of my Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate Basher build. So if you missed out on that video, I'll go ahead and leave a card in the corner. But uh, here's what I put in right here. So this right here, is the Castle Copperhead 10 ESC. This is a 4S capable censored ESC. I have that combined with a 3200 KV 1412 Castle uh, brushless motor. So this is actually the ESC out of the Ultimate Basher build. This is not the motor. I had to get a new motor because the motor that was in the Ultimate Basher build, the motor shaft broke and that was only a 3.175 shaft. I bought a new motor, the exact same KV, exactly the same except for this one's got a five millimeter shaft. And it is censored, so it's super ultra smooth at very low RPM. I kind of used this bracket that I found to kind of mount it up. Then I used some double-sided foam tape, and I zip-tied it. I'm hopeful this ESC will stay in place. We're going to run it on 3S and 4S today. Well, 3S first, and if it doesn't break with a 3S pack, then we're going to throw a 4S pack in. So we're going to start off with this 8,000 milliamp, 120C discharge rate CNHL pack. And then after that, if it doesn't break, we're going to throw in this 6,500 milliamp, 80 C discharge rate Ovonic 4 cell pack. And this thing should be an absolute ripper. I've never run the slash on 4S before. Unfortunately, I don't have the proper tires on it. I have my uh, short course racing tires, my Pro Line blockades. Really should have put the Badlands back on, but I just, I didn't really think about it. Kind of just loaded up and it is what it is. But we're actually going to really try sending this thing today. I've actually got some ramps set up right there and we're going to bring as much speed off the parking lot over there and just send this thing down the hill. So I think we'll start off with a little bit of bashing before that, and then we'll start sending it and see if we can break this thing. So this is going to be the very first test, aside from doing that speed test I did. If you missed out on the speed test, I'll put a card in the corner. We were struggling get, to get up to top speed with the, on the speed test. Um, so I think it has a little bit more speed in it, and it is geared pretty low. I think we have a 13-tooth pinion and a 58-tooth spur gear. We are running the 32-pitch gears in this machine. We're actually going to run the Baja bug body today because I think we're going to jump this thing. And for jumping... It's better to jump it with the Baja bug body. The, um, the stock Traxxas slash body has a way of catching air and it just doesn't fly very well. It parachutes. So we're gonna throw the Baja bug body on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave this link down below as well. It only came in at 30 bucks. So now the link I'm leaving below is an associate link. So I do receive a very small commission if you purchase using that link. But if you wanna show your support of the channel, that is a great way of doing so, purchasing through the links I leave in the description down below. So first, let's start off free cell pack. Let me get thrown in and uh, we'll get started ripping. Yeah, these are definitely not the correct tires for bashing. Uh, these are definitely much more suited for being on track. In the grass, these aren't very good, but we're still gonna rip her and have some fun. I do apologize, it's pretty breezy out today. I do have my wind catch on my phone, so that should definitely help. As you can see, I've got some ramps set up here. We're gonna bring as much speed as possible and just launch her down this hill. But before we do that, since there's a high probability we'll break it, we might go ahead, do a little bit of ripping, in the grass and on the pavement before we jump this thing. With these tires on it, this thing just grips so hard. Yeah, as soon as I go in the grass though, there's no traction. Like, it's spinning the tires there in the grass. She still rips, though. Still gets a move on, that's for sure. Ooh. We're good. Of all TSM turned off currently. Hit that tree. 
Hit that tree. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. How about a little launch in the grass? She's definitely not going to hook, but still fun to do a little launch. These tires are not going to last very long ripping on pavement like the way I have been. They're ultra grippy, but these tires are not made for longevity. They're super soft, super sticky, but not for bashing. All right, ready for a launch. One, two, three, go! <laughs> You know what, we got some dirt down here. Before we jump this thing, I want to take it down there and rip her down there in the grass and in the dirt. Gosh, it's so good to have the slash back out. Just look at her ripping down there. Absolute hoot, this thing's so much fun. Love the slash. I really dig the Baja bug body too. All right, let's take her down to that dirt down there. We'll do a few rips around here in the grass and in the dirt, and then we're gonna send this thing like I promised. I might just get a whole new set of tires, try something new, because I've tried Badlands, and Badlands I know are good tires, but I kinda wanna try something different, maybe even a different brand. Let me know in the comments below, what other tires do you know of that have really good aggressive tread that hook up really well in grass, wet conditions, dirt, mud? Just let me know uh, your guys' experiences down below. All right, are you guys ready? Get set. I gotta put that on slow-mo going through here, that's pretty cool. kick right up in my face. That was kind of cool. Here she comes. Those power stroke shocks do a pretty good job soaking up the uh, the dirt and the rough stuff. All right, I think we've seen enough on the grass and in the dirt. Let's uh, get to what I promised. I promised jumping this thing. We might break it, but it's worth it for your guys' entertainment as well as for my own. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Here we go. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I was on the throttle when I landed, and that might have just been the slipper clutch that slipped like crazy. I did kind of like a front flip. There was no control in the air. I mean, the gears still sound all right. Hopefully that was just a slipper slipping, doing its thing. Here she comes. I'm pinned. Oh, good thing I had the five millimeter shaft on this one because that's what broke on the other one, jumping off this exact same ramp setup down this same hill. Let me straighten these ramps up. It's still feeling good. We'll wait for this truck to go past. Actually, they're taking forever. Let's just send it. We're gonna beat this truck here. Here we go. And I'm pinned. Oh, that was the battery tray right there. Oh, you know what I bet happened, guys? That should not have come out. 
I had two pins holding that. We probably just broke the extended um, battery post. Oh! Gosh, that wouldn't be the first time this has happened. Yep, that's exactly what happened. We broke the post. I don't even know where it landed. Well guys, unfortunately, this is gonna mark the end of the video. I have no way of holding the battery in there at this point. And that's, I don't know, second or third time that's happened. That's highly unfortunate. I wish we could have gotten more bashing in. I really wanted to throw the 4S pack in, but now I'm gonna have to get a new uh, extended battery post. That happens pretty uh, routinely with these extended uh, battery posts. They break on hard impacts. I guess when the battery slides forward, but that one broke actually on, on impact. It did not break on impact with the ground. It broke on impact with the ramp. So that's kind of odd. So that's highly unfortunate that happened, but otherwise everything else sounds good with the power system, it sounds like. So if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay tuned for the next video. Later.